Welcome back to another video. It's the one only pocket. Today we're going to be talking about Broken Lens shutting down and if it's Mojang's fault. Let's get right into it. All right, so they posted this on their forums and it's called the End of Broken Lens Server and we're going to read it. Hello, everybody. Today I come back with more bad news for Broken Lens. Following up on our campaign back in December, we were able to keep the gears turning around here for a few more months and for that, I thank everyone who helped out. A special thanks goes for those who sent in donations as well. It was an incredibly generous act as some of you single handedly covered multiple of our hosting bills. Unfortunately, though, during the past two months, Broken Lens only generated negative revenue yet again and there hasn't been enough sales to cover cover up all of our next hosting bills even after exploring cheaper options we do need quite a lot of resources to keep the network up and running you also may have noticed we haven't been pushing out updates as quick as we did in the past and honestly a part of the reason is the lack of motivation perspective and joy that i gabriel once had working for broken lens i personally have been feeling really unwell both mentally and physically with the situation we are going through be it all be the burnout be the loss of revenue and substantially the inability of keeping both myself and the server up and running even if after investing my own funds into it be it our dwindling player counts through the years be the unfair competition we've gathered after featured servers were introduced. In Mojang's own words, there isn't a process of application to become a featured server. Mojang simply decides who they will choose to become featured, essentially deciding which servers succeed and which servers fail. Featured servers will not only have access to a broader audience, but also among other access to essential tools to be steadily keep up with the new game updates. Let me ask you guys, is this fair competition? The whole situation has been dragging on for years and years, and the thing is, it has not been easy. When we officially launched back in January 14, 2016, we were an immediate success, gathering around 50,000 and registered players in just one week. This was even before we had a build team and developed a way for players to seemingly switch between servers. If you tapped an NPC, it would kick you out and show you the direct IP address for the game servers. We pushed massive updates out daily and it turned out to be our most successful year ever peaking at nearly 15k concurrent players, sometimes even more. Today we sit at 12.3 million registered players from almost every single corner of the world and this is a huge success for us. Along the years, we formed the most wonderful staff team we could ever have asked for. Our builders, staff managers, admins, moderators, helpers, and everyone in the staff team is extremely talented at what they do and we couldn't have gone as far as we did without them this made the server possible in so many ways i can't even express in just words and i'm extremely proud of calling this team the best one in the world if you are a broken lens player i'm sure they have all touched your life in some way or another even if you don't realize how yet and i would like to thank them all for everything they've done and accomplished here from the bottom of my heart i'm sure at this point you already know what i'm about to announce and it's something that makes me extremely sad both for the staff team and the players i never wanted to take this decision but broken lens cannot keep itself afloat anymore and i have started to think about my future too. I need to move on and find a different job to pay for my bills and I need to start thinking of mental and physical health at some point. And unfortunately, the only choice I have moving forward is to close Broken Lens servers permanently. This has not been an easy decision for me and it's been a source of uncountable sad emotions during the past few days. I know some of you will be sad and some of you will be mad, but finally I've come to the conclusion that this has to happen. April 16th, 2022 is the day 11.56 p.m. EST. As the clock ticks midnight, all the Broken Lens servers will be switched off forever and it's something. if something good comes out of it, I hope it's good lasting memories and friendships we've all made through the years. We've all learned something in this long journey and Broken Lens might have failed as a network, but we were able to affect your life positively in some way and in, our, in the end, our mission will have been a success. Only the servers are going to be affected by this decision. The forums and the app will remain running for as long as possible so our collective history can be preserved and we will be removing our filters to allow everyone to recommend different servers and discuss any Minecraft and off-topic related content here in the foreseeable future. Feel free to recommend new forum sections as well. That is all. I wish all the staff members and contributors good luck in your future endeavors and thank you everyone for supporting us till the and Gabriel Dickinson. So yeah, that's obviously a lot to read. You know, it's a it's a really tough situation just because of how many people were affected by broken lens. Like I said, it was popping back in the day and they just made a huge impact. You know, I heard about all the drama and little things that happened with the staff team and all that, but that's not the point of this video. You know, we just gotta show them love for what they did and wish them all the you know well in the future. But man, one person I know that's really affected by this is Jay Burrow Plays. So he actually posted this video called Broken Lens in 2021 Hive YouTubers Edition, and this really really put them on for a lot of Hive people. He basically had me, Potato P and a lot of other people in this video and i'll show like a couple clips of it right here you Roll see it. today it's now at 1471 on an average day it's right around you know 1500 players but on a good day it, it can go above 2000 but it never hits 3000 so something obviously had to happen to this server in order to make it the way it is now they weren't updating the bugs and the thing is when when you don't update a server after a long time especially with bugs you begin to lose players this pvp is going to be something you're probably Probably gonna be horrified. I'm gonna tell you right now because PvP is not the same. Yo, I, I play lifeboat sometimes, so it doesn't, it won't, won't phase me too hard if it's better, if it's worse than that. If, it, if it's worse than lifeboat PvP, then I'm gonna be really upset. What would you say is the worst PvP experience you've ever had on a server? Lifeboat. Yo, He's not dead. I've been swinging at that guy for so long. Oh yeah, that's right. That's the other thing I forgot to explain to you. The damage I was is like. I've been swinging at that guy for so long. Damage doesn't exist barely either. 
<laughs> what? So, that's the thing. If I had an iron sword, I was going to say, there's no way. You know Spell of Life, right? In Hive uh. Sky Wars. Well, every single bit of food that you get is basically a Spell of Life. Uh, Bruh. Except, you know, based on the kind of food that it is. Wow. It's really it's, a server worth giving a shot. Obviously, like, I don't know. Like, to me, it's pretty interesting. Like, I, I think they put effort into it. Obviously, if they don't have, if they're, you know, not fixing the bugs, I feel like, yo, why not make a video addressing that situation? You know, letting them know that, that that's the reason why their player count's falling. But aside from that, you know, pretty good server. Um, Knockback is really interesting. Now, listen, <laughs> I'm not the one to complain for Knockback, but, you know, it could be definitely up a lot higher. For mobile players, when they're basing off that, it makes sense. That's why they did Still, that. You got to look at servers like the Hive, you know, and realize, okay, well, that, like, they might have a little bit too much knockback. That's how you get combos. Because on this server, it's pretty hard to get combos, isn't it? To me, I feel like there is a lot of work for them to do. There's a reason why they're not partnered. I think it's an okay server. You know, I think it's not a bad server. It's better than Lifeboat. It's better than uh, Mineville City. But yeah, that's kind of the gist of what it was. You know, it wasn't the greatest server, but you can't blame them really when they didn't have a chance to be featured when I think they deserved it. And then Jay Burrow tweeted, Broken Lens is officially closed. I met some great people there and got my start there. And I was there till the end. How ironic that the pink glitch got messed up in the midst of the goodbye message. And yeah, they're forever shut down as of right now. So just props, you know, shout out to the whole team. Shout out to all the players in the community. I really, really do feel bad for them. I feel like they never got a right chance or never got a right opportunity to really become a future server. I'm not sure why Mojang did that, but I definitely think that's a lot of the blame because back then, you know, like Broken Lens, Lifeboat, and all of them servers weren't featured. There was no future servers. So they were just making their way from the word of mouth, you know, and YouTubers. So yeah, I feel really, really sorry for Broken Lens. This really sucks that this had to happen. However, if you join Broken Lens now, it like brings you to other games uh potato tweeted this and said interesting thing now that broken lens shut down their server ip directs you to nether games now this is intentional as stated in the forum post and i assume it's just because broken lens wanted to support another non-feature bedrock server and yeah man like this little war between non-featured and feature servers got me really really thinking would any of these feature servers and non-feature servers be different without the you know outcome of what it is now let me know your thoughts down below um but yeah if you guys have any great memories with broken lens or bad memories leave them down below i want to really really see this and and yeah, Broken Lens is gone. So that's another Bedrock server or Bedrock contributor that is now out of the community. It's been a wild scene lately of people just leaving. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. Let me know your thoughts down below. And as we always say, Empire out.